what's up guys? It's Zaduka here. And Jerison. And Mike here. Mm -hmm. And we are here again for another week of news. Now, before we actually get into the news, we're mm -hmm. going to actually discuss uh, this news video will actually be our last, probably last news video. Yeah, for the year, yeah. As an entire group for the year. Yeah. Now, with uh, the holidays, stuff like Christmas and New Year's coming up and uh, things like that, we decided that we all kind of wanted to take a break. Yeah. So uh, we're going to uh, we could... take a break. If there is any major news topics that come out uh, in the next coming weeks uh, during Christmas yeah. or New Year's, we may do uh, solo videos discussing that if yeah, yeah. we really want to discuss. Like, for example, I'll probably do a video where I do, like, analysis of the songs that are nominated for Best Song at the Japan Record Awards. That'll be one video. Mm -hmm. And I think after that, we'll then we'll, when we get when we were back from the break, we'll hold the break. We'll then we'll probably do our year in review. Uh, maybe, yeah, we can try and discuss that. Yeah, we'll probably but plan again, it out. Like, yeah, this year has been like there's been a lot of stuff happening. I feel like. Hmm. Well, we'll try to put by themes and make like 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 like, a, like all the major ones that happened. That would probably. Yeah. Be. We'll we'll discuss maybe like amongst ourselves how we're gonna set that up. But for now, let's yeah, yeah, just let's... get into the news. Yeah. For this week. Bit so of, uh, starting off, we actually have the guest lineup and set list for the Music Station Super Ultra Live. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, Ultra Super Live. Ultra Super uh, Live. Event. Yeah. Oh yeah, they announced who's performing on Ms. M's Day. That's gonna be a half a day worth performances. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to watch all of the performances, but I'll definitely try to keep my eye out for clips and videos of a couple of them. I'll probably watch most of it. So, let's see. Let's see some of the artists that are listed. We have AKB48 is going mm -hmm. to perform Aitakata and Ay Flying Get. Aitakata Flying. going to be very interesting to see. All right. <laughs> it has been... When is the last time that they've performed, like, Aitakata or Flying Get? I feel like it's been forever since we've seen them perform those two songs. I mean, they probably might have uh, performed it probably in the theater, at least. Maybe. I, I, I'm really not sure. Like, be... recently we've been focused on a lot more of some of their more recent songs, although they have done a couple of older songs like Junen Zakura. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this this is going to be cool to see. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We also will have uh, Keakizaka46 doing Kuroi Hitsuji. Black and Sheep. Kira is going to do uh, Kado Magaru. Uh, uh, uh huh. Um, uh -huh. after that, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, I'm looking at the uh. list now, this is a long list. Oh, it's long? Uh, we have oh. Nogizaka doing, uh, Arigachi na Renai and Sing Out, mm -hmm. and, uh, Hinatazaka, 46, doing Kyun. Kyun, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's Lisa performing Good and Get, that's a really cool song. Oh, that's a great song. Oh. Oh yeah, it's really good. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, keep on going. Uh, what we got? Uh, fooding doing paprika. Obviously, okay. paprika. <laughs> uh, perfume is doing saise and ne. Regeneration, yeah. The recent, well, I think from their best of album, I think. P3 Cube. <laughs> oh, Dean Fujioka is performing Shelly. Oh yeah, Shelly. And nearly all his songs are in English, which is interesting. Yeah, we... <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely uh, going to be a very uh, fun performance. Uh -huh. Very fun event, I should say. So yeah, it's yeah, gonna be like half a day look worth. Look forward to that. I'll try to catch as much of it as I can. Well, I mean, like, uh, I think maybe RJ from the Bazin Cats might be in the audience for that process. We might see him in the audience. All right. So next, yeah. moving on. We have uh, the set list for uh, the NHK Kohaku. Yeah, they announced the names of the performances of the that will be in the special. Yeah, they just announced that, actually. Mm -hmm. So we already know that AKB is doing a World Senbatsu version of Koisu de Fortune Cookie. Yeah, I'm showing the uh, lineup now, actually. Yeah, Keakizaka will be doing Fukio Waun. They're doing that one, but remember the last time when they performed? And then some of the members fainted when they had to perform it the second time? Well, I think they've learned their lesson at this point to, like, they're not gonna do that again. 
Because I remember that one, it was, it was kind of like a little joke when they did, like, somehow when, like, well, the, um, the mod the person in a show that the moderator is in, live, kind of said, he has an idea where, oh, he, he, he should, the moderator should do, perform a kick in Zaka 46, and then we found out, and then we see what happens after that. Yeah, but I think after what happened, because that was such a kind of severe thing that happened, I think they're gonna be like, yeah, we're not doing that again. Okay. But the, but the core for that is, like, very hardcore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have Nogi Zaka performing uh, Synchronicity. Yeah. And uh, Hinata Zaka performing Kyun. Kyun, but not only Zaka, but w um, what would happen if, let's say, uh, Sing Out gets best song at the Japan record? Maybe they'll perform that at last minute, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's what they plan on doing. Again, like, this is already something that has been planned out and stuff like that. So even if there's, like, a short notice thing... Uh, again, uh. it would have to be, like, really rushed, short-notice no kind of setup here. So I don't think they plan on doing that. Because they put a lot of last-minute auditions. Also, Synchronicity is a really good song, so... Oh, I, could I think, didn't they perform that last year as well? Oh, wait. No, no, they did uh, Nanase Nishino's uh, last hit single. Oh, yeah, they did. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they performed it one year. Uh, not yet, I think. They did Influencer two years ago. Okay. Oh. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. They have a couple of other names listed. Again, Lisa, uh, Little Glee Monster, but Perfume. Kiana Zaka, they're doing Kune. I thought they were going to do maybe a medley. They do Kune, Dormi Slossy Do, and uh, well, the recent single. But some mm -hmm. I thought people are saying that they might be a, some people might be offended by Dormi Slossy Do, though I'm not offended by it. Wait, why are people saying that? That is super weird. They said that to like cl classical musicians might be saying that they're not seeing the the like the notes properly, but but I know they do say fa in the song. I just found out when I was looking through <laughs> chat in Dora in like uh, the no I don't know no life chat in Discord. I don't think that's any reason to get offended. I'm not offended but by whatever it. Whatever the case, whatever the case, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing these performances from here. Oh yeah. All right, next, moving on to AKB48. Mm -hmm. uh, the lineup for Yahagi Moeka's Graduation Live was announced. Oh, yeah, what's so going to happen? the members who will be performing mm -hmm. in the show mm -hmm. are uh, Yamane Suzuha. Ah, Suzuha. Rina. Rina. Arashi uh, Ran. Ah, Ran. Take Hitomi. Ah, Hitomi. Ogori Maho. Maho. Saito Haruna. Haruna. Tada oh. Kyoka. What a 16 Nazuha. Nazuha? Na Nazuna, sorry. Nazuna. Uh, Honda Sora. Sora? Suenaga Yuzuki. Yuzuki? Nagano Megumi. Meg oh! Ishiwata Sina. Right. Kuramoto Mi. And uh -huh. Yoshihashi Yuzuka. These really sound like 16 gens and draft 3 members. Yeah, I think that's what they are because Moeka herself is a. Draft I I'm pretty sure she's a draft 3 member? Yeah, she's a draft 3 member. Draft, they're a draft, draft 3 member, yeah. Yeah, so it makes sense they would have like the drafter members in the 16th gen members there. Aha, uh -huh, got it. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, I know the, uh, those will member, so, I mean, I'll probably be able to watch that concert. Hope maybe someone will probably stream it, possibly. Uh-huh. And uh, we'll probably again, watch that performance is happening on uh, December Thursday. 26th. So Thursday, Thursday. So be sure to keep your eyes out for that. Yeah. Uh, next up, moving on to SKE48. Oh, uh, The group actually released the full music video for their next upcoming single, So You Toko Arione. I saw your uh, reaction. If you follow our second channel, the uh, mm. reaction yeah. channel, you see that I actually put my reaction to the music video on there. So if you haven't yeah. checked that out yet, be sure to give that a look. But I, uh, I saw it. my thoughts on the music videos, I really liked it. Yeah, I, I already it. really liked the song listening to it. Again, mm. I think it really suits not only SKE's image, but especially Dasu's image. Kind of fits. And I mean, like, like... Kind of what we were talking about earlier. The song feels like this was written for Dasu to be the center of. And I saw your reaction, dude. And the music video itself, the girls look like they're having so much fun with it. Yeah, they look and very the fun. And the choreography that was uh, provided by Da Bump. Yeah, for the members. Like, a lot of fun to do. Yeah, for the members in the group. A lot of, like movements and dance moves that not only SKE has done, but I haven't really seen done by any other girl group. Yeah. 
like there was like there was the little hop step move that they did in the chorus or like the yeah. move where it was like they were revving up a motorcycle engine you, you oh, know what yeah. i'm talking about oh and the guitar so they, 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 too yeah they to, all right uh, and I, they, I, like they kind mm. of flick their wrist that like that part was cool yeah, it was i cool. have never seen something like that done uh by other female idols so like it felt really unique but also so it fits so well with yeah. SKE, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, so, was, yeah I really enjoyed it. Well, say something what about, did you think of it, Jerison? Well, see, I mean, I was like, it's a fun video. I mean, it's like, possibly like, my second favorite AKB48 song this year. Behind STU48's oh. recent single. It's like, mm -hmm. it's a fun song. I mean, like, it fits well. It's like, interesting that they, it's like if the SKE48 theater is a mall, though it's actually in a mall. Yeah. Yeah. That, that actually would make a lot of sense for it to be, like, in a mall. Yeah, and about the choreography for the video, so it's actually choreographed by four of the members of Da Pump, of Tomo, uh, Kenzo, Daichi, and Yuya, which, yeah, with, with, with their choreography, because with Da Pump's choreography, as you've probably seen in some of their videos, like, for, like, USA and their recent single, Part, which was the theme song of the theme song of Common Rider, is that, uh, it's actually, uh, they, they, their choreography is actually very, has some comedy in it, actually, in their choreography. Like, you know, in the video yeah, part that where... makes sense, too, because also, like, like, at the beginning of the song, where they were, like, running around the stage, like, using mm -hmm. the whole space of the stage that they were using, mm -hmm. like, that was really cool, too. Oh, yeah. And then we also get to see a bit of Akane, too. He's, like, the true center, like with Minokama in the video of Synchronicity, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and almost Rika in the you know, Nogizaka 46's recent single. But I mean, yeah, it's a uh, but yeah. Also, uh, speaking of the song, actually, the song "Soyutoko Ariyone" was released as a single on iTunes. Oh, it's already available as a digital as a digital release. Yeah, or... and it's available to uh, purchase uh, globally, actually. So over here in the U.S., it's actually on iTunes. Yeah. Wait. So you mean like also the entire single is released, including all the additional tracks? Well, no, not. The whole, like, single, because the single isn't out yet, hasn't been released yet. Technically, yeah. the main song, like, it's just Soyutoko Arione. It's just the main song that's been released so far. Yeah, but I'll probably, uh, wait on... Like, they released the one song as, like, a preview for what the single will be like. It's, like, kind of like, you know, exclusive sort of thing. An exclusive release, basically. Think of it like that. Advanced release, but I mean... Yeah, but I mean, at least I'm probably going to get the CD at least, which is all good. Mm. And also, interesting, but we just found out about this, but somehow, surprisingly, the song actually made it into a playlist in YouTube Music, which I probably showed you before mm. we were being recorded. Yeah, the J-pop hot list. It made the, the J-pop playlist. J-pop hot list on, like, YouTube Music. And it's interesting because not only that song is in the lineup, but also, um, surprisingly, Yo the circus track in Yoshimotozaka 46's next single, uh, Stray Sheep, is actually put in that playlist too. As well as Arashi's Reborn, Perfume's uh, Seis, uh, Regeneration, and... Oh yeah, it's interesting. They made it... Alright, so yeah, that is really cool. I hope that they will be able to do this for the rest of SK's music, because so far there's only been a couple of singles that have been released globally on iTunes for SK. Not uh -huh. all of their music is available on there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I hope that now they are a part of Zest, that they will be able to release more of their songs in the future. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, some more really interesting news for the group. They actually released the profiles for the 10th generation members. Oh, yeah. And they also made their first appearance in the SKE Theater, introducing themselves. They just incorporated the 10th gens. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're now in now. So, we have uh, the profiles up now on the website, so... Uh -huh. So, I already mm. talked about before, uh, the two members that I followed, Igarashi Hayaka and Kato Yui, I really like them. Oh, yeah. Uh, but they're also, now that I've gotten a better feel for the members uh, through their profiles, I'm starting to... I'm starting to, like, keep in my memory, like, this, like, oh, this girl seems interesting, I better keep my eye on her, so, like... First off, we have uh, Sawada Kanon. Uh huh. So what what interested me about her is that she talked about she had experience with acting. Oh in the yeah. Past that she actually did some child acting. Oh, she's a child she actor. To go into acting. Mm -hmm. So that already really interests me. 
Oh, yeah, I'm showing them. Yeah, they're now in the uniforms, actually, now. See? It's like, like if they... Hopefully, if she is able to stay in the group long enough, we could see her evolve into becoming a, a professional actress from being part of the group. Oh, an actress. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts and on And then, the... also, we have uh, Hayashi Mire, who Hayashi is uh, Mire. not only the youngest in the generation, but is also now the current youngest member of the group as a whole. Oh, well, she looks very young, actually, by the way. Yeah, she, she looks real young. Yeah. She's ten years old. Ten years old! Almost as old as Jarena when she began. Yeah. Her, her birthday, actually, that's the funny thing. Her birthday is March the 10th. Which yeah. is two days after Judina's birthday. Okay, that makes things more interesting. And and it surprised me too because she does not look ten in her profile picture. She looks like she's at least middle school age, but she's ten years old. But that was like That's Jure crazy. That was like Jurina, where she kind of looked like she was older, but she's actually very young. I mean, that's true, too. Judina had a very mature look for her age, especially when she was 11. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Like, the fact that she was 11 years old and she looked like she was 16, at least. Like, so many people were shocked when they heard how young she was. Well, I mean, there's some younger members even, in the- Even to this day, when they hear about, like, she joined the group at 11 years old, they're like, Whoa, you joined in that young? Well, like, it, it's it's kind of a weird paradox to think about, but but yeah, I'm very excited to see what we are going to get from all of these members in the future. Hey, maybe she'll probably be in the group maybe as long as Darina, maybe even longer than that. Well, we'll see. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, uh, I guess we can briefly mention this from NMB48. Yep. Uh, we had another member. Uh, from the uh, TGC, the Tokyo Girls Collection oh, shooting yeah. competition that, yeah. announced. And it's another NMB member who won the yeah. uh, age 18 to 19 bracket. It's yep. uh, Hara Karen. Oh, Karen now, Hara. I don't follow her, but I say congrats to her. She's interesting because she's that one who might have invented the little thing, the cucumber party, like cutie party, one, two, three. And she was a she, oh, she, cutie she was, guy. Cutie party. She's in the cutie guy. Okay. But she so also cucumber. did. Cucumber. So also does okay. that, like, uh, the thing has in I've, the... I've heard space. of the cutie guy before, but I don't really follow them, so I don't know which members are in them, but where she, okay. But she says, but like... yeah, it's really interesting that so far it's been, like, NMB taking all the top spots for that, so But she yeah. says, like, a piru piru. That's her other catchphrase, too. Oh, and by the way, who is it? She says that catchphrase, too. And then, uh, quickly with the other results, but, uh, second place, Team A is Naruto Karano, and number three, Team A is Nagisa Sakauchi. Also, Misaki was in fifth, which could have been put. And also, this really interests me, so NMB is going to hold a special live for foreigners. Oh, yeah. For foreign customers only in the NMB theater. Foreign. So that is going to be on January 27th of next year. It's So there's going to be a Team N stage in the uh, afternoon in... Uh, at 1.30 Japan time. Mm -hmm. And then there will be a Team M stage later in the evening at 6 o'clock. Oh, so that means international events can finally go inside the theater. They might finally. I mean, I mean, if I was in Japan, Josak, I could fucking go inside. Yeah, I find it so interesting that lately the 48 group has been uh, collaborating more with, like, trying to get more involved with their uh, overseas fans, which actually now that just reminded me of another announcement involving SK that I just yeah. forgot about. Oh, yeah. So, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. So, over in uh, Jakarta, actually, JKT announced mm -hmm. that they're going to have a joint concert with SKE. Oh, SKE. Oh, yeah, because their previous, like, uh, the head of staff was actually now at, at JKT right now. Uh-huh. You the are the oh, Yeah, the manager, yeah. So, oh, yeah, let me see if I can pull this up. There was a... Uh, certain name to it. But yeah, the idea of like JKT and SK having a concert together is so cool. Uh -huh. Uh so yeah, it's going to be next year as part of uh Project One is the name that it's going by. Project One. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. But oh quick thing with the was with the the AK forty eight Tokyo Girls Code Insurance Competition, but also for the results of seventeen to eighteen while they still did uh, determining the result, but the pro chance that another member in MNB won, Rina Kobayashi actually won that. Oh, Rina, okay. 
And second place, Miko Tanaka. Number three, Misha Tao. Okay, so did that just end? Yeah, that is still going on. Just ended okay, today. Just ended. Okay. Still turn results, but yeah, okay. another energy number I one. I honestly have not been keeping up with showroom, so I have been out of the loop on that. Oh, well, I watch showroom all the t and some members know me, which is surprising. All right, next up, uh, a bit of sad news for HKT48. Oh yeah. Tomonaga Mio announced she is graduating from the group. Oh, about that, I actually found out about that from actually Miko and Ari, who actually made tweets about that. And then I saw the actual tweet from Mio, I said, oh, yep, here we go again. Here we go again. So, yeah, this actually kind of tugged at my heartstrings a bit, because uh, Mio was one of the HKT members that I really liked, and I found out about pretty early on. Oh, yeah. Uh, not just because he was a member of Ten Tomuchu, and I really loved Ten Tomuchu. Uh-huh. But also because uh, I watched an episode of Hakata Hyakaten, huh? which is a variety show that HKT had really early on, where mm -hmm. they had uh, some of the senpai older members from AKB48 come and visit HKT48, and the members would try to appeal to them so that the senpai would pick an Oshiman. Oh, yeah. And on the episode where Akimoto Sayaka was the guest, Mm -hmm. And they did a lot of sports-themed challenges, because oh, Sayaka yeah. was known for being sporty and athletic. Uh -huh. uh, Sayaka actually picked Tomonaga Mio as her Oshiman, because she was so shy and so cute. She was like, I want to help her grow and get out of her shell. I mean, she's also very involved in fashion, too. She does some various videos on Instagram. That's true! Yeah. yeah. And on her YouTube, too, a lot of her videos are targeted towards, like, fashion and makeup and such. Yeah, she does makeup. I mean, I talked to her a few times in showroom. She's a very fun member. Really fun to talk to. But yeah, like, she's, again, she's a member who, I guess in a similar way, is like uh, Kitagawa Ryoha from SKE. Like, she started out being someone who was, like, incredibly shy, extremely mm -hmm. awkward to the point where, like, she was known for, like, being really bad at acting. Like, she had such a flat tone in her voice uh -huh. that it was, like, a running gag with her. Mm -hmm. But as she got older, she 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 had kind of this glow-up. She was still she kind of more, like, soft-spoken, but she she's super pretty. Mm -hmm. And the videos that she does and, like, her fashion is all so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks very cute, actually. Cute, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, it is sad to see her go, but I wish the best for her with whatever she decides to pursue. So, uh, her last handshake event will be on December 24th, so mm -hmm. that's actually a couple of days. And then her graduation will be held on January 15th of next year, oh, so... She, uh, she's uh, leaving in the yeah. beginning of next month, yeah. Uh-huh, so, again, best wishes to her going forward. I hope she'll do a lot of things uh, so, in fashion, probably. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Okay, so continuing on from where we left off, uh, a couple days have passed since our last recording, and so there's a bit more oh. news to cover. So uh, SKE48 released uh, two new music videos a couple of days ago. Sneak Peeks, uh, actually. First, we have the... Huh? Sneak Peeks, actually. Yeah, yeah. So first off is the uh, special edit version of Takayanagi Akane's graduation song, mm -hmm. Seishu no Hoseki. And I think this is interesting because it doesn't go the, I would say, the conventional route of how you would do a graduation video. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of times the story is focused... Well, yes, it is focused on the girl who is graduating, but more or less the story in the music video would center around the fact that she is leaving. But instead, they took a really interesting route with uh, Trudy's graduation mm. song, where it's actually showing her portraying uh, herself as a uh, sort of a actress's assistant. Assistant of an actress? While uh, oh. an actress is filming a drama. Oh. So she's kind of like an uh, assistant helping out with this particular actress. She's helping with behind the scenes, helping them during filming, you know, running to uh, get things that they need. It, it's a really interesting take oh. on it. And so you hear the song basically yeah. playing in the back. It's sort of like a fake documentary sort of thing. Oh, like a script, like a, like a script girl. Oh. oh, yeah, like the thing where they follow a person going around. Yeah, kind of like that. Exactly. As the song's included. So, yeah. yeah, it's really interesting that this is the direction they decided to take with this and uh, I know that the ending they don't show the ending yeah 
I'm in this, gonna... but I have actually heard someone tweet that uh, they did show the ending, so... Oh, they did show it in the live stream! I'm assuming because, yeah, did, during did, the live did, stream that they had to reveal this episode, I'm assuming that they did show the ending So it's the full the video they showed. Video. So they showed the full video on the live stream when they revealed the music video on SK48's YouTube mm -hmm. channel. But most likely, uh, since they also did this with uh, frustration, uh, they'll probably uh, release the full music videos once the single actually comes out uh, next month. So probably we'll on that. Probably on Avex's channel, possibly, or maybe SKE3 yeah. channel, maybe. Huh? Yeah, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll probably see it when I want. Yeah, it's in nice. general, it is still a really good video, and I really like the song itself. <clears throat> so yeah, Oof. I'd say it's very good, very well, unconventional. Well, I mean, but I'd say that makes it a bit more memorable and unique. I mean, I know it's probably gonna be sad for Michael, we know, because it's his Oceanman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think when he saw most of it, he said he cried when he watched it. And also when Steve Did watched he? it. I think he watched it, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, well, I mean, yeah. I, I I would totally understand, knowing how much Michael really loves Judy, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, at least he's having it for a few more months, at least. Still? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, next up is uh, Matsu doing a solo music video, Who uh, Are You? Who Are You? Bang! She looks good in this! Oh, she looks good? Oh! Just okay. gotta say, bang! She looks good! Yeah! So what happens Sorry. in it? So far? Sorry, my brother just opened my door all of a sudden. I don't think he knew I was recording. Oh, don't worry, but anyway, well, what's, so, so what happens The video the is... It's kind of a, uh, how do I explain this? So it's split up between, we basically have two versions of Judina. Oh, yeah. Two so versions. we have the Judina who's dressed in black and is like this really cool dancer. Kind of <laughs> has this like bad girl vibe to her. She cool. Yeah, she, she looked super cool. Yeah. yeah. And then we have this Judina who's wearing a red dress. She has a... This, I don't know if it's a wig or extensions, but she has long hair and, and bangs. You know, it's like... Which should be like an alter it's ego. similar to the hairstyle she had during Sansei Kawaii, where the bangs were, like, covering her forehead. Oh, so it's like an alter ego? But it looks a lot better here. Oh! Like, I wasn't a fan of that particular hairstyle for mm. her back during uh, the Sansei Kawaii era. That was, like, back in 2013. She was, like, 16 years old. Oh, I didn't think the bangs looked good on her then. But oh. here, they actually suit her really well. I think they look a lot better on her, so maybe it was just a, like, you know, puberty thing or something. Like, she had to grow into them? I don't know. But she does look really pretty in this. Like early Jarena. Uh-huh. And so yeah. there's actually this moment where we see, like, the stage is actually split up between the black, cool dancer Jarena and then this red, very beautiful, sort of alluring, uh, songstress diva, Judina, who is Wait, singing. Wait, kind of like the thing with the angel, uh, like, devil thing? Uh, well, not exactly angel and devil. Hmm? Not exactly that, but just more of, like, these two very different, very distinct... Uh, Ruka? I think, um, you, I think you might have dropped oh, for a few wait. seconds. You might have dropped for oh, a okay. Can you say that again? Okay. Okay. But, yeah, basically, it's not really an angel and devil concept, but more of showing these two very distinct sides to Jurina's personality. Oh, yeah, like, like early Jurina, like, later Jurina. themselves are kind of references to Jurina and her history. Like, the mm -hmm. red dress, obviously, and the red heels are an Akai pin heel reference. And oh, then yeah. Jurina's black outfit, uh, the back of her jacket that she's wearing has a diamond on it, which is obviously mm -hmm. an Okoa diamond reference. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, Sean Diamond, yeah. So, yeah, it really is interesting to see, like, basically, like, the red Judy not being this more feminine and a little bit sexy, very alluring, yeah. singing, oh, yeah. in this beautiful red dress, and yeah, the long hair, is... and then one that's a bit more of, like, kind of this tomboy feel, almost really cool, like uh, has male backup dancers with p punk yeah that's actually a good way to put it it's kind of punk look on her Wait, like sayaka um, like sayaka Yamamoto? It, even, it even showed uh i think there was a preview image that was released on a magazine that uh i don't think it completely showed very well in the music video but she had like blonde highlights in her hair oh like more well we might see more of it in well doing the entire videos released possibly mm -hmm. so yeah this was only the short version but yeah like just as a first impression it <clears throat> it looks really well Mm-hmm. 
So I really like both of them. It's interesting because, like, the red and black seems to be a consistent thing that Judina has been doing recently. Like, red and black seem to be some of her strongest colors recently. I've seen some of her, like, her videos and performances, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, red and black, yeah. I mean, even even in Hamlet, too, she started with the black outfit and then did the rest of the show in a red outfit. That makes sense for Hamlet, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. hey. But yeah, I liked both of these videos very much, and so I'm really excited to see not just the full version of these, but then also the next music videos when they come out. Oh yeah, the group so uh, like tracks on like the on the single too. Yeah. Yeah, the other units. Yeah, we're gonna see those too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next up, we're moving on to STU for the. Uh, STU, yeah. A lot of news for them actually. Uh huh. So first up, we have some details on Okada mm -hmm. Nana's yeah. produce date. Yeah. Uh, Oktachi no Koi no Japan. Uh huh. So, uh, some more details were mm -hmm. revealed on that. So, uh -huh. we have some dates. Uh, all of them are going to be performed at the same place at the Hiroshima International Ferry Port. Oh, at the, at the boat. Sorry, on the on the ship, the SCU 48 Go in Hiroshima. So, the first show is going to be on January 11th. Uh huh. <clears throat> And then the next two shows will be in the noon and the evening for January twelfth. So this will be show will happen for a, for a, for a limit for for a few weeks only, or it's going to be ongoing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think that this is just like the first three days <clears throat> of it. Oh, okay. But you know, this is replacing uh, Go Go see. Little Seabirds. The lineup. I think the lineup is this. Well, it's kind of the same, almost the same for all of them. So on the first day, we have a. Uh, Ishida Chiho, Chiyo. Ishida Minami, Minami. Isogai Kanon, Kana. Imamura Mitsuki, Misuki. Iwata Hina, Otani Hina. Marina, Hina. Kai Kokowa, Kadowaki Miyuna, Miyuna. Uh, Shinabo Soraha, Soraha, uh, Soraha. Yumi, Yumigo, Yumi, yeah. uh, Tanaka Koko, Koko. Nakamura Mai, Mai. Tsukuda Akari, Akari. Uh, Yano Honoka, and Honoka. Yabushita Fu. Fu, the usual regulars in the group, yeah. And, yeah, and then regular. on the second day, <clears throat> uh, it's the same for uh, both performances. So we have Ichida Chiho, Ichida Minami, Isoga <laughs> Kanon, Ichida Hina, Otani Marina, Kai Kokowa, Kadoki Miyuna, Sak Sakaki Miyu, Miyu. Uh, Shinano Soraha, Soraha Shintani yeah. Nonoka, Nonoka. Uh, Takino Himiko, Tanaka Koko, Koko. Kodo Aoi, Fukuda Aoi? Akari, Minami Akari? Arisa, and Ashikafu. Oh, Arisa is in the second performance. Arisa Yuni Yoshi. Mm. Yeah, I was just, not in the first one, but in the second one, performance. Mm. So, uh, the first show will start at, uh, let's see, looking at my clock to tell the time, uh, 5 p.m. on the premiere date, and then for the uh, <coughs> second uh, show, it'll start, uh, the first show will be at uh, 12.30, and then the second show will <laughs> be at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So this, well, we'll probably, both of them will probably see it maybe on Nico, on a CD48 channel, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll find it. Okay. But yeah, I'm excited to see uh, what songs exactly they're going to perform on this, knowing that this is an uh, Okada Nana produced stage. It's going to be interesting what she's going to turn out for this. The captain. Yep, she's doing a great mm -hmm. job being captain of STU. Yes. Yeah. Captain but I see that Michael has joined us. My, Michael, oh, you're just in time. Well, about that, we're just. And also, uh, happy Christmas Eve to you, Michael. Okay, but keep on going. We're going to be just celebrating tonight instead of tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Mm. Oh. No, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want it too long because I'm celebrating later. Yeah, it's, tomorrow. it's, it's right. evening for you. Okay. Hold on. All right, so then it's next up, evening. we'll move on. Yeah. Oh, right, sorry. Keep on going. Okay, so next up with SDU48, uh, they also released the profiles for their uh, newest generation, the second generation, can you say? Yep, they're, gener they're also an open the group. Now, welcome to the crew, second gens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all of them are listed on the group's official website. So for anyone who is curious about that, definitely check that out. Uh, this is actually interesting. I just learned about this recently. Yeah. But one of the uh, members in the second gen, can you say, uh, Risen Momoka, yeah. 
is actually related to Visa and Idy, who is a Team 8 member. Oh, and to Irie and Team 8? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, she's her younger sister. Oh, it's like kind of like back when you had, like, Fu's older sister being an MMB. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw the thing quickly, but keep on going. Uh, but yeah, so all of them are listed on there. Again, I'm not super familiar with all the girls because I only really follow Kudo Rito. <laughs> but I'm yep. looking forward to see how all of these girls are going to do now that they have officially uh, joined oh. the group. So to all of them, I say welcome. Oh, I'm just showing the pictures actually right welcome. now. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Sorry, well, what's the number of the member you're showing again? The name of the member you're showing again? The one uh, you're talking about. One? The one that had like a, this, a sister that's in Team 8. Oh, Risen Momoka. Momoka, I'll just find her. Yeah, I'm showing the pictures now. Oh, oh yeah, the women we all liked during the auditions. Well, these pictures kind of like, looks, well, they about their pictures that it's, there's them, it's actually similar to the, the, pre 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 the previous profile pictures of the group where they're wearing the other uniform. Uh, I, I think so? Yeah, I thought they were going to wear the same uniform as the rest of the group, but nope, they're, uh, they're actually well, to be wearing... fair, they're still Ken Kusei, so. Yeah. Re Re oh, Rik. So what's her what's her name again? Kudo Rico. Kudo Rico. I'm just gonna show the pictures quick. Wow. Ooh. Oh. Anyway. Oh, Kudo Rico. I just wanna find her quick. Oh, wait. Ku oh. 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 It's, oh. It, oh. Oh. Yeah. I found her. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. There's there's her picture. Yeah. She mm -hmm. she looks great. Yeah. What was also the name of the member that we all said we liked in the auditions? The one who speaks English. That that's her, Kudoriko. Oh, that is her. Oh, and she's a, she's the sister of a team. That's How interesting. How did you forget? No, I I, I I was I thought that was another person, but that's her. Okay, that's good. Let's go to our next story now. All right. So uh, they announced the lineup for the fourth single, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the coupling tracks as well. Oh yeah. They so uh, first tracks. up for the title track, mm -hmm. uh, we have Ishida Chiho, Ishida Minami. Ah. Uh. Imamura Mitsuki, Iwata uh -huh. Hina, Otani uh -huh. Marina, uh -huh. Okada Nana, Oki Yuka, uh -huh. Kai Kokoa, mm. Kadoaki Miyuna, uh -huh. Shintani Nonoka, uh -huh. Takino Yumiko serving as the center once again. Again? I was hoping that. Tanaka Koko, oh, cool. Nakamura cool. Mai, uh -huh. Fukuda Akari, uh -huh. Yano Hanoka, uh -huh. and Yabushita Fu. Oh, so no, uh, oh yes, yeah, so let's skip, but. Yeah, but it's like Yumiko, the slave member. I mean, oh, sh this is gonna be interesting. And then next up for the coupling tracks, uh, for the Type A coupling track, the lineup mm. is Isogai Kanon, Sakaki uh, Miyu, uh -huh. Shinano Soraha, Taniguchi uh -huh. Mahina, oh, Mahina. Uh, Hyodo Aoi, Fujiwara Azusa, Mineoshi Arisa, and oh. Morishita Maiha. Oh, is this uh, one of the groups in the group? Like, you know, like, uh, Studio, ch uh, Charming Trip? I don't think so, because it doesn't list them as being a specific unit or anything. Oh, oh okay. So I'm assuming this is just, like, a new lineup. New lineup, yeah. Okay. Uh, then... Type B is actually a song for all of the second generation Ken Ah, Kose. the second gen song. Yep. So no, that's just... gonna be exciting. Yeah, I'm gonna hear them. Oh, yeah, with the second gen, they're also now starting using Showroom 2, actually. Oh, that's great! Yeah. I'll have to look and find uh, Kudoriko's room. Yeah, I'll she's probably. Congratulations on joining the group. Yeah, and like I just watched a few as well too, but actually the past few days too. Mm. Okay. Again, I've been out of the loop with showroom, so this is great though. I'll definitely have to check her out. Gotcha. I'll have to find the uh, SKE 10th Gen Kenkuse too, see if they've started showroom yet. Um, I think not yet, but they might use in the next few weeks probably. Okay. okay. Back to okay, SEO. I'll have to keep my eye out then. Okay. All right, then Type C, the coupling track, we has uh, Ishida Minami, mm -hmm. Imamura Mitsuki, uh, okay. Oki Yuka, uh -huh. Takino Yumiko, mm -hmm. Tanaka Koko, Koko, Nakamura Mai, and what? Fukuda Akari. Oh, so these are new. Uh, these are new groups. Like special lineups. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're gonna do something similar to like the Akagumi Shirogumi sort of thing. Oh, the with SK. Well, I mean, we have another look at yeah. That'll be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what they're going to do with this, so yeah. Oh, uh, and... definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, it's out on uh, January uh, 29, so, so we'll help you for that. Mm. Alright, so next up we're moving on to the Sakamichi side of the news. Scripts. Yep. 
Uh, Michael, if you're here, would you like to announce this first piece of news involving Kiyakizaka? Hold on, I'm getting the document up. I think. Oh, it involves their Tokyo <laughs> Dome concerts. Tokyo Dome concerts. They released on DVD, people. Yeah. Woo! They're, they're releasing it a few months sooner or earlier than we thought it was going to be. We thought we had to wait a year, but just a few months. Give us the details, uh, Michael. Hmm? Give us the details, Michael, on uh, the box set. I don't have the details on me. Oh, hold on. I got it open. So, uh, the <coughs> DVD for Keakizaka 46 is live at Tokyo Dome, the uh, final concert in their arena tour. This oh, day year. two. I thought they were going to release all the concerts in one box set, but nope, just day two, which has Yuna Harate no. performing. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. That is going to be released uh, next year on January 29th. January 29th. Wait, the same day as SK, uh, as STU48's uh, next single and Madoka's piano album. That's going to be very exciting the day, that day. Uh, let's see. Ooh, the Hinata news. Oh, oh, oh yeah, well, Do you want to go ahead and talk about that? Because that's really it for uh, the Piaki Zaka side, the announcement of the... Tokyo Dome concert being released on um, DVD. We'll watch it, so probably. This news... <laughs> oh, go ahead. I guess well, I can group two of this news together, because they were announced... Were they announced on the same day? I, think they were, I don't yeah, know if I, they were announced on the same I day, but it is Christmas kind of concert. funny that they got announced at, like, very close times. Big um, announcements. Well, but I know this happened during the Christmas live, which you actually watched, actually, but if you like, you want to explain. It, it, it was it was a very fun concert actually. This was the concert. What happened? You know, uh, this one you saw. It was a it was a very Christmas themed concert. Yes. Well, the, the, and like the the happy the, aurora. I'm very tired. And the happy um, aurora. Yeah. It was it was like they were acting as elves in a sense, and <clears> they <throat> were trying to fix Christmas in a sense. Yes, Christmas. <laughs> happy, I mean, happy aurora. The happy, happy aura performance was literally them like preparing presents for the kids. It was so cute. They give they give presents so to the cute. audience. They give presents to the audience. No. Oh, okay. That I remember that. I remember that. You no. get a gift. You get a gift. You get a gift. Huh. On the last day, on the last day of the two-day Christmas concert, they announced that uh, first off, uh, 2020 national tour. Uh huh. <coughs> um, and then the big, big announcement uh, was actually a Christmas concert 2020 in Tokyo Dome. Well, that's a so, big one. And quick, after a year after their Hinata, though kind of around the same, maybe more than the life of Kiyakizaka because they were began as Hiragana, so it's kind of the same amount as Kiyakizaka. Well, no, the first, no, for the first gens, yes, it took them four years to get to Tokyo Dome. Yeah, well, for Hiragana, it might took slightly oh, more actually. than that. Yeah, so that's another Tokyo Dome concert for the 46 groups. That will be a big that's, concert. That's so great for them. Big year for them this year, by the way. It's kind of like Eric's Tokyo Dome concert, because it was only a two-day concert, if I remember. Two days, well. yeah, two days, two, uh -huh. yeah, two, two days, two, yeah. So. So, I mean, after uh -huh. that, then possibly yeah. Yoshi Motozak will probably perform in the Tokyo Dome after that, because they said that in their show, they do a weekly, they said they're also trying to perform in Tokyo Dome, too. Yoshimoto. It's possible. They'll probably have high production no. value. We'll wait and find out. But there's more announcements about that, too. Alright, so is it okay if I go ahead and share the details on the national tour itself? Yeah, fine by me. Alright, so for the national tour, it will run from uh, March to May of next year. Hmm, summertime. Uh, so the first two Good days time. will be March 18th and 19th at Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall. And then oh. uh, there will be a show on March 31st and April 1st at uh, Marine Metsa Fukuoka. Oh. Then on April 10th and 11th, they will perform at Maruzen Entech Arena Osaka. Osaka? Mm. Oh, wait. 10th, 11th, and 12th. Wait, three, th three, days. three days. Three days? Wow. Three days in Osaka. Uh, now, Kusaka's hometown. Then on uh, May 8th and the 9th, they will perform at G Mese Guma. Hmm? Oh, nobody's from on, uh, on May 12th, 
uh, 14th and 16th, they will perform at Pia Arena MM Kanagawa. Uh -huh. And then uh, their uh, Hinakuri uh, 2020 uh, Christmas concert at Tokyo Dome will be on December 6th and the 7th. 16th. So we've got a Six bit of a way seven. to go, you know, for Christmas next year. But it is going to be exciting to see them doing their national tour in the spring. The hype is still happening. So anyone who is interested in that, definitely look forward to it. The hype is still happening. The hype. Um, okay. My theory is, right, you know how there's three members on Francis? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking Mao, Ikuchi Mao would be back way before then. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, Kageyama Yuka and Hamadishi Hiyori. Oh, I think Yuka I think will, be will be back. Yuka will be back. Yuka will be back. Kage will be back definitely. I mean, he's in the photo them. book. I don't she know about the... the tour, though. Well, she would definitely be back before Tokyo Dome. I mean, she, she was like in the... It. Go ahead, Michael. I'd like it if she was back, like, last concert of the tour. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm, but... I don't know. I they were afraid. actually, uh, Hiyori and Kage were actually there at the Christmas yep. performance, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, yeah, too. Last day. Along with a bunch of Ekizaka and Nogizaka with gens, actually. So. And, and Yuka was also in the photo book, too. Well, at the very end of it. Wait, hold on. Yeah, she did uh, I'm not gonna... Let you guys to show this on camera because it is from her mother, but she did send a mother from her point of view of the concert. I oh, have we... to find it. Oh, okay, so we'll I have show to find it. Okay, and then send it on hangout, we'll show it. Okay, but there's also another big don't announcement show too. It. It's more than me. Oh, 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 oh you're showing... content. That's why I'm saying don't show it. Oh, we can't show it. Okay, I thought you said we. Okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing about mobile It's like. Social media. Oh, okay. I think you dropped. Uh, I think you might have. I think you dropped for a few seconds. Yeah, it was you, Jerison, but we're okay now. Okay, keep go saying it again, please. All right. So I guess we continue on to the next bit of news, actually involving mm -hmm. their upcoming drama series, Dasada. Oh wait, didn't they have their name in another? Oh, that's the interesting one. Oh, okay, Dasada. Okay, first. Oh yeah, yeah this that's... is really interesting. There is news about their fourth single as well. Oh, Rook, I think you dropped again. Can you see if you say that again, please? Oh, uh, we were talking about their fourth single. Oh, where now? Is where is Kei Kazaka's yeah. ninth single? I'm oh, yeah! They're it's releasing another single year. in March! And it's been a year. And if they it's release another cool. before Kei's ninth single, okay, something is happening with Kei Kazaka. Well, no, okay, let's, let's calm down a bit, alright? ninth single, but... Yeah, because mm. SK, SK is releasing their single. I mean, I mean sorry, Yoshi Murazaka released their single. Uh, SKE for released their single. ST for released their single. And possibly Hinarazaka released, released their single before Kekazaka 46 is ninth single. Okay, okay. I have to talk about the details. Yeah. Uh, released okay. on the 19th of February 2020. Uh -huh. 2020. So. Yeah. So yeah, February 19th of next year. And along with that, uh, they also announced details involving uh, Dasada, their ah. upcoming TV drama project. This is an exciting show, actually, by the way. Hmm. So first, they announced the uh, premiere date of when the uh, show will premiere. It will be on uh, January 15th of next year. On NTV and Hulu as oh. well, too. And uh, they are also going to be holding a fashion show live event oh related to the show at yes. yokohama arena on february 4th and 5th as kind of like sort of in collaboration with them doing the show because this involves fashion ah. in the show uh -huh. um, more news as well i searched it because i was like i saw something on this this morning what oh really but uh, um there's a collaboration runway with tgc shizuoka oh uh, next they're, year we're going to do that with shizuoka Oh yeah. Following members are participating in it. 
sa kanal, patunalimiho, saito koko, shiho, sasaki mire, sasaki kumi, kumi, kumitasuzuka, and kumata ayaka. Ah, the models! Well, minus miho and suzuka, but yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nogi Zaka, I mean, I mean Hinata Zaka 46 has a lot of models. Well, six of them, but. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw something about this this morning and. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's but, really cool. But so I'm what's. Actually so... Oh, sh Oh, wait, by the way, so what's Dasada about, by the way, while you're finding it? Oh, so yes, they actually released a, a trailer for uh, Dasada. Uh, it basically shows, uh, it gives a good idea of what the main plot of the show is going to be. Uh, basically, it shows the story of these girls, uh, all in high school, them meeting each oh. and brand together. Uh-huh. They're making a fashion and brand. so we also have, uh, some of the girls, uh, characters' profiles, uh, -huh. uh descriptions and interviews from the members themselves on their characters were released on the drama's official website. Now, they're all in Japanese. They have not been translated yet, as far as I know. Looks like a high quality but, uh, uh, show. I, since I uh, do have some knowledge in Japanese, I was able to uh, comprehend most of the characters' profiles. So we can like briefly talk about some yeah. of the ones that interest me. So This looks like a high quality show. Is, uh, What's high Kosa quality? Now is the main character, uh, Sada Yuria. Uh huh? Okay, so sorry in advance, we had a little bit of technical difficulties just now, but they should be fine now at this mm -hmm. point, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. It was something with my internet that probably caused all that. Anyway. So we're picking up it. now, talking about some of the uh, character descriptions for the uh, characters in Dasada. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of the ones that interest us the most. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the most part, everyone seems like we got a good feel for what their characters are going to be like in uh, the uh, the teasers that we've gotten. Mm -hmm. the, the most recent one that we got and then the one we got a little bit earlier, uh, mm -hmm. a few months back. Mm -hmm. So, like, we, we see that uh, Kyoko, her character, is the uh, captain of the volleyball team. Oh, it's and a volleyball team. And a couple team. other members, uh, like Miyata Manamo, is uh, working or is part of the team as well. Hmm. So it's about a volleyball team that kind of starts, begins a fashion brand. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not it's not really mainly focusing on the volleyball team. It's just, like, Kyoko's character specifically is part of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, but all the... of them, all of them are high school girls, and all of them mm -hmm. seem to have really different personalities and backgrounds to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. So it's interesting to see, like, it's going to be interesting to see how all of these characters are going to come together. Yeah. And how so they... The one, the one that I'm already interested in, uh, to name a few, first off is a Sasaki Mire's character. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, her name is Ichigo. Ichigo. That is the cutest name I have ever heard. Very cute. Uh. You know why? You know what the name Ichigo means? Oh, I think it's very cute. Ichigo. Ichigo is the Japanese word for strawberry. Oh, so she, her name is Strawberry. Yeah, basically. So uh. I'm interested to see what her character is going to be like, because what we got from the teaser, she seems like this uh, kind of a studious, like, again, it's a glasses character. We've seen Mide do glasses characters quite a bit in the past. Oh, she played with glasses. I'm just, I'm just saying, right? Uh-huh. Members compared to their characters in the drama, it's like a complete 180 of what they normally like. That's that's very true. Yeah, they're, they're playing like some of themselves. <laughs> now, for example, she's very quiet and quite introverted normally, whereas her character in Asada is pretty out there, <laughs> pretty narcissistic. Yeah, oh, really yeah. narcissistic. Oh. Okay. So. And then we have uh, Ushio Sarina and Nibu Akae's characters, who are friends <laughs> with uh, Kato Shiho's character. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of like the, I guess, sort of, you would call them Queen Bee characters. Mm -hmm. Queen Bee. Like, there's sort of hierarchy that, like, they're at the top of the food chain or something. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
So I think that will be interesting to see. We also have a couple of characters who are playing idols. Oh. So uh, Matsuda Konoka, Higashimura Mei, and Kawata Hina are all members of an idol unit. Oh, I love a... this combination of members. What are characters <laughs> yeah, within the Konoka, characters? Konoka, Hina, and Mei is a really interesting combination. Ah, right, okay. Konoka's got the singing down. Mei's got the dancing down. And then there's just... I, don't, I guess Hina could be in the middle. Oh, yeah? <laughs> And then, actually, one character that I really like is uh, Kamimura Hinano's character, uh, Sumire. Mm -hmm. Basically, she's like, uh, she's uh, Nao's character, Yuria's uh, biggest fangirl, basically. Uh. Honestly, I don't think that the description of her character is as different as Hinano herself, because Hinano is kind of an oddball. But she kind of looks odd in the picture, which I'm also showing right now, too, of all the people in the show. So, interested in that. Uh, there are a couple of characters who are acting as models. Uh, Takamoto Ayaka is a uh, model. A model? Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, oh okay. Uh, and then, Iguchi Mao is playing a gravier idol. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, Mao she's... Mao photo book 2020. What? <laughs> oh. Mao photo 2020. <laughs> photo book 2020. If that, okay, well. if that actually happens because of this drama, <laughs> I will be amazing. Me later. Unless if he's trying to play her. Yeah, she kind of looks like one based on her picture. <laughs> um, but yeah, just <laughs> in general, these all look like they're going to be very interesting characters, and it's going to be. Very interesting to see how they'll all play off of each other. Because, uh -huh. uh -huh. like, again, like I said, just from the trailers, they all have these really distinct personalities that come through really, really well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I am very excited to see where they are going to take this. But the, with, the, with the model, like, the, it's called Factory? Well, that's just the group. That's the group. That's the group. Yeah, that's the idol group. Yeah, Factory. Okay. Uh, okay, so that wraps it up for Hinata Zaka news, and I guess, uh, Jerison, if you want, you can briefly talk about the uh, news on Yoshimoto Zaka and their second generation audition show oh, yeah. competition. Oh yeah, well, just last past few weeks, but, well, the, the Yoshimoto Zaka 46 did a show competition involving their second gen auditions, and they just announced the results of that. Now, this show doesn't determine who will be put in the group, but it kind of gives us an idea to learn about the members, but I'm going to quickly, so we can go summarize the uh, top, like, who, which members were actually wanted in the Shun competition, which I'm going to get to it now, but the person who was in first was a person, it actually, I'm going to show him, like, a person named Aki, who, um, she's a very fun, she thinks she's a something involving with fashion, but I mean, but throughout the Shun competition, I mean, I know that um, most of the, um, Remember, actually, like, I talked to them, and, and I asked all of them, some of them, I asked them, like, they somehow they, they said my name a lot, various times. Hmm. And times are, like, the only English-speaking person in their showrooms, too. And I also asked them, like, oh, which group in the group did you, like, uh, Senbatsu, Red, or, uh, uh, Sweet Monster? And all of them said Red, though one of them said, uh, he likes all the groups. Okay. And then second was another, well, she, and she's, as a comedian named Basarama, who, uh, very fun guy, and, like, he's very cool, too. And in third place, but the one who was in third was actually, um, actually another comedian or a person named, uh, just loading the thing quickly, uh, named Masato Oshima. He was a comedian, too. Mm. So that's all there is. And so now with that part done, there's a probable chance they might uh, announce the next, uh, the second gen during their first year live, which will happen on um, Thursday. So we can find out about that. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, then moving on now to the uh, graduated section. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. First up, Sashi Hararino was actually appointed as the Oita Prefecture. Uh, as a 
representative for the Oita Prefecture in the Olympic torch relay race. Oh, so she's officially going to be in the relay. Oh, that's good. Uh-huh. Because she's very famous in Japan. She made Corsura fortune cookie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. So, yes, uh, she was selected to be a relay runner for the Oita Prefecture. Nice. Uh, so she, she explains why she is selected. Uh, it is because she has contributed greatly to local development as Oita City Tour Ambassador. Oh, yeah, because she's from that area, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's where she lives. Oh, Oita. Yeah, and she also she was very important in the, let's say, the, in, the, in the Japanese culture because she was the face of. Of AKB40 in the past few years. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, that is definitely going to be interesting to see now. Uh, uh, you know, alongside Matsui Rena, who was announced as well. So. So she she might yeah, run too. Be interesting. Who do you think could also run in the torch role? Do you think too? I think Askomeda. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Possibly. Achan, I don't know because I don't remember her being like especially athletic, especially uh, compared to like other members like Yuko and Akimoto Sayaka. Those uh, two were two of the fastest runners in the group. What about Harupi? How did no? Oh no. How did be no? She always did some track and field. She's she athletic. She did. Oh. Yeah, so it's possible. Yeah. Okay. Well, then again, she's she's like focusing on her own stuff, anyways. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, next up, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, Nago Maria uh, joined the cast of a TV drama called Kacho Baka Ichidai. Baka so Ichidai. Off of a manga of the same name. It is a. Uh, from what I can see from the trailer, it is a uh, comedy-based crime drama. Oh, so it's a it's a crime comedy. Oh, yeah, so uh, Nava Maria's character is a policewoman. Okay. I'm wondering just, like, how wacky this show is going to be, because, like, if, if you can pull up the article and show the poster, uh -huh. there's a robot in the poster. So it's a comedy. It's yeah, a it, it's, it's a comedy. It's a straight-up comedy. Even from the title, you can tell, like, you know, because... Kacho Baka Ichidai. The fact that it has baka. the word Baka in the title. Well, it kind of looks looks like it's a comedy. I'm actually about to show the thing now, actually. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I've never read the manga. What's oh, based on a manga? Oh, okay. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. I did watch the trailer. It looks so crazy. It is? Oh, okay. Uh. So yeah, uh, anyone who is interested in that, I would say definitely check it out. I'll try to, but, if but, uh, episodes are released, to try and check it out. But there's an angel or two, so it is a comedy. Uh -huh. looks, it looks like a comedy, uh, actually. Also, speaking of dramas, uh, we PS4. actually have some of the first video uh, visuals for uh, Maida Atsuko's leading uh, NHK drama, Densetsu no Okasa. Oh, yeah. She looks like a mom. I love the straight up JRPG game vibe that they're going in this one picture that it looks like a uh, photo card that you get in like a mobile game. Oh. Where she's holding the magic staff and the baby in her other hand. Oh, this is going to look a fantasy show. On age Yeah, game. exactly. It, what it is. It is a fantasy, but it's also a comedy because well, of the route that they're going with the story. Fantasy can be comedy too. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. That is starting up uh, in February 1st of next year. On NHK. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, did I say, did they have the air date for... Uh, oh yeah, Kachobaka Ichidai. That will start airing on January 12th of next year. On NHK. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Oh, it's on NHK, actually. NHK. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. All right, next up, uh, I guess we can move on to some of the other idol news. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first off, uh, Akimoto Yasushi's uh, produced a girls' rock band, the Coin Lockers, yep. are actually going to be undergoing a renewal. Oh, oh, renewal. So, at first, when uh, this was announced, uh, it was kind of accidentally announced. It was sort of a miscommunication of information, I'm guessing, but... Oh. Uh, an, there were people thinking that they were going to disband, but no, it's not a full disbandment. They're going to have a reformation or a, a restructuring. Or restructure. 
restoration. Restructuration. Well, I mean, because the past, I was thinking maybe in the next ones they'll get a lot of attention, but somehow, although they release a bit of music, but they haven't been seen a lot, though. They do a lot of showrooms, actually. So, um, the band held their uh, first anniversary concert at Zep Tokyo uh, oh. just this past day, actually, on December 23rd. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the sales uh, did not reach their goals, so the management decided to revise the girl band Project Land and halt the second single release. Oh, okay, so... But at least, they, maybe by the time they release their next single, they'll probably be seen a lot. Hmm. Although, we also in the past week, but another group, though... Maybe in the kind well, of hold on, hold on, I'm oh, not but, finished, I'm not okay, finished. Okay, keep on going, you recover. More so, on, come on. They also have a list of members who are going to stay in the renewal project, so not all of the members of the coin lockers are going to stay in the project. Oh. This is just some of them. Oh. So we have Utsunomiya Mirai, uh -huh. Udo Yuna, uh -huh. uh, Emily, Emily, Shinomoto Natsumi, uh -huh. Goto Rita, uh -huh. uh, Shimojima Kirara, uh -huh. Tamura Amiri, uh -huh. uh, Narusawa Hanami, uh -huh. uh, Hana, Funai Hana. Miku, Mm -hmm. Matsumoto Rina, mm -hmm. Mori Futaba, uh -huh. and Ru. Ru. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Hayasaka Tsumugi is not listed as a member, so that means she is dropping out of the project. Uh. Uh, pretty sad, but I do wish the best for her. Hopefully, she'll find uh, a different route to take in her career, whatever she decides to pursue. Yeah, we'll probably see her sometime. Probably mm -hmm. so, yes, uh so the band has already held their uh, final concert, and now they're going to be beginning their renewal. So whenever that starts up, mm. uh, anyone who's interested, be sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, mm. I don't think I'm really going to follow them anymore, just because I didn't really, I wasn't able to follow them that much to begin with, even though I kind of wanted to try and get into them, since Hayasaka Tsumugi was a part of it, but I just couldn't oh. get into them. I oh. just didn't have the time to get into them. All right. But I do wish them the best, that this uh, renewal will definitely uh, help the group improve. Well, hopefully, yeah, could. But, I mean, about that, but actually another group actually announced that they'll be it's ending, though this, the kind of, let's say, related with the thing with the, the female auto group, but this involves an, a group related to Exile. And we actually talked about it a few times a few episodes ago, actually. Hmm. That group is E-Girls. Yes, so, yeah, the group uh, E-Girls announced that they were going to be disbanding next year. Hmm. I mean... uh, the announcement was made uh, just a couple of days ago at the group's new single event at uh, Teresa Yokohama. Hmm. The recent so, one, Cinderella uh... Fit? Huh? The recent single of Cinderella Fit, or they're, they're releasing another one after that one? I, I, I'm not sure. I don't follow E Girls. I know they released Cinderella Fit. What I mean, my ability to that. Either way, uh, basically, uh, happy. It says that happiness will cooperate with U.S. media company 88 Rising and target the overseas markets. Uh, Takebe Yuzuna will be a member of DJ Afrojack produced new unit, which will hold a worldwide audition soon. Uh, Washio oh. Reina will make a solo debut, and the other members will change their careers from. Uh, being idols to acting or modeling. Oh, so they're kind of put them into like go into like appeal to international fans. Make them uh -huh. more. Oh, okay. Now so again, I'm not super familiar with the group. I think I have heard maybe a couple of songs back in the past, but I can't remember any of them off the top of my head. Well, I know them a bit as I know they're kind of you could say like the female version of Exile, but I mean like. Well, well I mean I. I guess I could guess that from the title, the fact that it was E Girls, so yeah. yeah. But also, like, they kind of have that K pop sound, kind of, at least for their earlier stuff, and like when they perform, it's like their version, his version of K pop. Hmm. The, but, way, the way I see it, like, just from what I, like, vaguely remember, mm -hmm. it seems like they were definitely trying to target more Western audiences with their music. Hmm. I mean, Exile More feels... than, like, just specifically Japanese audiences. Maybe hmm. that's why they had more of a K pop sound. Was because I mean, it was trying to like spread out its audience. I mean, Exile internationally, feels... and Exile... the fact that they are going to collaborate internationally with mm. uh, some of the girls now collaborating with other projects. So uh. maybe, yeah. I mean, Exile appeals to international audiences too. I mean, some of the members yeah, in the rest of Exile groups have are from other, including one from the United States. We got Nace Nesmith. He's from hmm. there too. Yeah. 
So yeah, uh, even though I didn't really follow the group, I do wish the best for these girls uh -huh. uh, for whatever careers they decide to take from uh -huh. now on. Okay. All right. Uh, last up, I guess we can briefly talk about uh, this happened. Yeah. Uh, it was a uh, the CDTV Christmas Live recently happened. Now yeah. I have not seen it yet, but uh, AKB48, Nogizaka, mm -hmm. and Kiyakizaka46 performed. Mm -hmm, yeah. So I guess uh, I think Michael's here back just in time. That. Oh, Michael's just back in time on CDTV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Kia did for charity season. Yeah. The good old times. And we kind of were hoping that we want your happy Yurina back. Oh, I'll but... definitely try to check that out later. But uh, the one thing that I did see that happened during the show was that uh, for AKB48, hmm. uh, Iriyama Anna actually made a surprise appearance. She came back. It's like, we all thought she was leaving the group, but nope, she is not leaving the group. Mm -hmm. Well, and so like... yeah, it was really cool to see her have this uh, special appearance for uh, this performance. I'll definitely try and find a clip of it so I can check out the actual performance. They did a top 10 medley of their top 10 songs, mainly early songs. Mm -hmm. But about with Anna... I, I think mean... I did see a short clip of when they were performing Iwake Maybe. That was one of them, right? And there was like one thing when like during when they did Corsero Fortune Cookie when they show a shot on the Yukurin and she was like kind of like that. But I mean what Anna because I know in, in the conversation she did with um Michiro on AKB40 on demand or AKB40 Ezra, she said something that she would like to be in the group longer because when she went to Mexico, she had she got more new fans, and then maybe she wants to still be so that she can show them see her performing in the group. So yeah, they're starting to get more new fans. It paid off, the trip paid off. Mm -hmm. And Nogizaka 46 did we did sing out as well too? I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Alright, well I think that about uh wraps things up for the news. Uh oh, actually there is one thing that I forgot to mention. Uh former Nogizaka member oh, yeah. Etomisa oh, recently yeah. had her wedding. Oh, she's married now. She's yes, married. she got Based. married to uh Genda Sosuke. The baseball player. And there were a couple of uh, former uh, Nogizaka members who also appeared at the mm. wedding. So like Saito Yuri, Nishino mm. Nanase, Wakatsuki Yumi, uh, Ito Marika, just to name a few, <laughs> were all present at the wedding ceremony. And oh my goodness, she looks gorgeous. Ah, look, wedding and, dress. Hold on, I'll, I'll show you, I'll give you the link to... Okay. Basically her Instagram post of her with her husband now. Oh, it's, it's there now. I'm going to show it quickly. So, what does it look like, by the way? Oh, it's super pretty. She's holding uh, a bouquet of lilies and has uh, uh, mm -hmm. her arm linked with uh, her husband. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can I'm... say it's her husband now. It's her husband. <laughs> and this time we can see her pit. We can see his, we can see his face this time because he's famous. Well, yeah, because he's also famous. He's a, a baseball, baseball player. player. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're probably gonna see her a lot during baseball games of his team. Yeah, she looks mm. great. Yeah. yeah, she looks absolutely beautiful. So congrats to her. Congratulations, on getting, getting married. Ah, and like, it's all good. Oh, there's a few more pictures too. And then there's there with the wedding cake. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a, a little kind of thing and pear on the top of the cake. And there she's with some... Oh, and Nanase was there too. Nanase. Mm. <laughs> Still looks young, too. Oh, okay. All right, I guess last up to uh, wrap up the video, we can talk a little bit about promotions for us uh, personally on this channel. Oh, yeah. Uh, again, some... since we are going to be taking a break for the holidays, we'll go ahead and talk about uh, some of the most recent stuff that we have put out for the channel. If you haven't mm. seen it already, mm. uh, so uh, I did a reaction to uh, SKE 48's uh, most recent music video, uh, Soyu Toko Ariyone, so check that yeah. out. And then also, uh, Jerison yep. over here released uh, the first two parts of his reaction series to Luna. Actually, by the time we release this episode, all three parts we put on the channel. That's right. So and you're then... gonna 
post up the uh, third part once yeah. we finish recording here. And then also after that, because there was a lot of things to to talk about the, the history of the Luniverse, decided that we're probably going to do a, a, a part four on it, where I where I talk about kind of summarize all the things about the history of the Luniverse. And then when that was released, you'll be giving your more in-depth analysis of their um, history too. After that. Well, um, I did actually today. Uh, just this morning, I posted the first part of my uh, chapter one, basically, of my personal uh, timeline theory and my personal analysis of my interpretation of the Luniverse. So mm -hmm. that first part is up on my uh, Twitter, Tumblr, and Wattpad accounts. Yeah, I saw uh, them. I'll be releasing the second part of chapter one uh, either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. It depends on how busy I'm going to be since tomorrow is Christmas, after all. Yeah, we'll probably do it after the but whole... yeah, I went ahead and posted uh, part one of chapter one. So if any of you are interested in that, be sure to check out either my Twitter or my Tumblr or my Wattpad to see uh, the yeah. first part of my analysis and then follow it forward for when yes. I release the next yeah. coming parts of that. And also on the reaction channel, this, but I'm also putting my little analysis of the no song they're nominated for Best Song at the Japan Record Awards, as well including a retrospect on one of the nominations for Best New Artist, Beyonds, and also a, a, re a definitive version of the music video analysis they did a few months ago. I'll be able to put a reaction channel too this mm -hmm. week. And uh, finally, this is actually from Steve. Yeah, Steve. Uh, a YouTube video was recently released. He has made a. Uh, I guess it's sort of like his idol debut. Oh, him but, dancing. Uh, yeah. The uh, Nanzan Academy Idol Club released a new video on YouTube with their dance cover of uh, I don't know this song, but it's by Lady Baby. Lady Baby, I might have heard of them actually. So it's like. So you know how it's it's like the unit, the metal idol unit with like the two cute girls and then the big buff men in the uniform, the school uniform. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, so Steve is basically the center for that, and it's amazing. Well, that's because he's gonna get more famous now with that video. Do watch his video. Get the mm -hmm. so that he can get seen. But speaking of which, this is the last episode of, for this year. And, well, I mean, I know we'll be doing our year interview after the holiday season when we get back. And, uh huh. Uh, we'll we'll try to do that again. There was so much that happened. This yeah. past year, 2019, had so many, like, high points and low points that... Yeah, also, yeah. Go ahead. We that. really need to go, like, in-depth and really try our best to summarize what all had happened, because there was so much that was going on. The changing times. And maybe we'll do probably maybe our top ten singles or top five singles. Maybe. Okay. Um, but yeah, whenever we decide to uh, do that, we will be sure to get that out there for all of you. But for now, that is going to wrap up uh, our video for this week. So and if you year. liked the video, be sure to uh, leave a comment in the comment section about any of the thoughts you may have had on what we discussed here today. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and then also our reaction channel so that you can check out some more of our reaction videos there. Uh and uh, we will see you guys the next time whenever we make a video. So until then, uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! And we'll also, see you guys uh, later. Happy holidays, Ruka and Michael. You're still happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays, everyone.